sleep even though he doesn't even sleep and then he bought me that big Mercedes romanticism is all about buying me things and that's what Edward does we have really expensive dinners at the top of really tall buildings we have these romantic talks about how he's Romeo and I'm Juliet I, I mean I wouldn't kill myself if he died because I kind of have someone waiting in the wings <laughs> Jacob which of your boyfriends is dark and moody but with the good side. I'm gonna have to go with my favorite boyfriend, Will Herondale. Will just comes off as a bad boy sometimes because he has like issues you don't understand. Like he has issues. He has these issues. But he has a good reason for the way he acts sometimes and he's really actually really sweet and all his sides are good. Sometimes we read books together, what I do is I lay it out like this and we sit side by side and when we're ready we say, page and then you have to wait till the other person says page and then we flip the page together i'm sorry it just happened we're together now and you should just accept it favorite paranormal boyfriend or favorite paranormal boyfriend i'm gonna have to go with adrian 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 from the bloodline series and the vampire academy series he's fabulous when i was reading vampire academy I was like, oh my god, Rose, what are you thinking? Pushing Adrian aside for Dimitri, what's wrong with you? But then, it's okay, because we ended up together. And it all worked out for the best. If you didn't know, Adrian's a vampire. He's actually a Moroi, so. That's the good kind of vampire. If you know about vampires, I don't know how extensive your vampire library is. Mine is pretty extensive, because I have two vampire boyfriends. I carry wooden stakes, I carry a gun, I carry matches, and I carry Will Herondale. You can never be too safe. My back wall is actually covered in letters to me from Will Harrendale about how much our relationship means to him. He's so, he's my favorite boyfriend. He's number one boyfriend. I have two number one boyfriends. Yeah, okay, I had two number one boyfriends, but it doesn't make Will any less number one. That's why they're both number one and not one and two. You know how like when you have 10 boyfriends and you have to do two number ones, it happens. Boyfriend you want to tame? I mean, to be honest, all my boyfriends are tame or else they wouldn't be my boyfriends. You can't be my boyfriend if you're Miley Cyrus. One of my boyfriends was kind of bitchy at first, but back then he wasn't my boyfriend because we ain't gonna get along like that. His name is Warner. I don't know who this girl is on the cover. It's not me, so it kind of makes me mad. Who is this bitch? You can only be my boyfriend if I'm the only girl in your life. And that's why Warner is the Omega of my boyfriend, Pac. He can't be anywhere near the top. Because this bitch has another bitch on the cover of his book. What is he thinking? I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. Boyfriend, you friend zoned. So I guess this means the boyfriend that I have since taken off my boyfriend list. Like he used to be my boyfriend, but then he's not anymore because I had to be like, okay, we're just friends because it's getting weird. And that's gotta be Jace Wayland. I mean, we had a thing and it was really hot, but then I kind of went and fell in love with your great, great grandfather. And it just got weird, you know? Like I don't wanna be with your great, great grandfather and also with you. Maybe you could handle sharing me with one of your relatives, but I can't handle it. It's too much. Your soulmate. So I actually have two soulmates. It's my two number one boyfriends. My first, as you can imagine, is Will Harrendale. We're just, we belong together. My other number one boyfriend is this guy, Percy Jackson. He's a little younger than Will, but he's really attractive and he's really funny and he's really nice. And we get along really great and we do really fun adventures in the water. I love Percy so much. Lately, I've been really missing Percy. He's off on some quests and I couldn't come because I was here making this video. Boyfriend that you want to elope with. You know, I have my two number one. I obviously want to elope with them. Like these questions are getting ridiculous, but I would also really enjoy eloping with my number two, Liam. Liam is really sweet. He's from the South. He has blonde hair and he's really cute. I love his music. He's telekinetic and it kind of intimidates me sometimes because I'm just a vampire hunter. I can't 
make things move with my mind? Would I rather marry Percy? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would have lived with him like, like, like this. Percy's always throwing himself in the way of death. So, I mean, who knows? I might be a widow by age 30 and that opens up the door for boyfriend number two. I'll already be married to Will. Like, I'll be double married. And then when one of them dies, I'll marry Liam because he's next on my list and he'll just be my boyfriend while I'm married. Does that make sense? Boyfriend you'd venture anywhere with. I'd venture anywhere with Percy. I'd venture anywhere with Will. But I also have a second number two boyfriend that I would also venture anywhere with so I can mix this up for you. Meet my second number two, Dorian. He's actually a prince, so he doesn't really get to travel as much as Percy or Will. But I love him and I would venture anywhere with him. So I'm really excited to help him break out of the tussle that he's gotten himself in in the castle. I'm gonna steal him away. We're gonna go on an adventure and then we're gonna come back and kick some ass at the castle and king him. That way I could also be queen. That's something I've always wanted. Boyfriend you'd wanna be stranded on a desert island with? The boyfriend that I'd wanna be stranded on a desert island with is most definitely Percy Jackson. What would happen is that we'd be stranded on the island and we'd like hang out there for as long as we want. Then he'd just take me off the island because he controls the water. I don't know if I mentioned that, my boyfriend controls all the water. And he can talk to fish. So if we need to eat, he can just lure them over. Which one's the most badass? And lastly, my most badass boyfriend. This is tough because I only have boyfriends that are badass. Boyfriend number four, Evan, is pretty badass. But this one's gotta go to Will Herondale. I don't know if I mentioned, but he slays demons. So do like a group, group hug. Edward, Percy, Will, Adrian, Liam, oh, Evan, Dorian, Warner. Excuse are you judging me right now? I'm allowed to have more than one boyfriend. Stop judging me. I hate you. <laughs> that each of us have a thing that we do together. For Will, it's we read together. Percy, we go on adventures together. I like when we go riding on these hippopotamuses. Dorian and I like to go to the library. We like to look at books together and it's wonderful. For Edward, we like to sit across the table and just look into each other's eyes. It's super romantic. We don't say anything. Liam and I like to go on road trips together. Evan and I play this game where I go about my normal day and Evan kind of follows me around, like out of sight. And then at the end of the day, we talk about the day. And then Warner and I, our thing is shopping. He has great taste in fashion. Those are my book boyfriends. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Who are your favorite book boyfriends? staring at each other. Meow, 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 I'm Christine. Hello. Today we're going to be discussing all the boys I've loved before in fiction. I hope you dress for the occasion because it's not black tie optional. It's black tie mandatory. We're pretty classy up in my room. It's a, it's a nice place. I don't know if you saw the Christmas lights, but... And that, my... Friends, was that too loud? Oh my god. Was the book boyfriend tag? I'm Christine.